One of the biggest challenges in business communication today is storytelling. Yes, I said storytelling. Keep in mind, I am a presentation skills and business storytelling coach, and I've, I've seen that that has become one of the big problems. Why do I say that? It's pretty common knowledge now that people think in stories and that stories are a great way to get out there and get your message. The challenge that I'm seeing from presenters today is that they don't truly understand what a business story is. In this tip, we're going to go back to square one, the basics, and start with the question, what is a story? Let's take a quick look at two different stories, very short, extremely simple, but one is what we would call the narrative form. And it's just a series of facts, one after the other. Here it is. A beautiful young princess meets a handsome young prince. They fall in love. They get married. They live happily ever after. Is that a story? Not really. There is no emotion yeah, you can you can make the argument that there's some love in there, but there's no real emotion. It's just a series of events, one after the other. Here's that same series of events with one element added that transforms this from a narrative into a story. A beautiful young princess meets a handsome young prince. They fall in love. They get married. They live happily ever after. Until the abduction. Whoa! What just happened in your brain when you heard the words, until the abduction? Did you not get curious? What abduction? Who got abducted? Uh, who abducted that person? What was the aftermath? Did they live? Did they die? All these questions immediately shoot into your brain when you hear a simple sentence like, until the abduction. Remember, a series of facts is not a story. It doesn't become a story until something happens to disrupt the status quo for the main character and generate emotion. As you are preparing your next story, or even if you're reviewing old stories, ask yourself, am I just creating a series of facts and just saying this happened and this happened and this happened? Not effective. Look deeper into the narrative. Is there a moment when something disrupts your life or that of your main character and creates emotion which generates the curiosity, which gives people a reason to want to keep listening to you. Try this with your next story, and I think you'll find that you get a much better response.